posting? Like well, just the walls? Yeah, it's on the walls, it's on the refrigerator. And easy <laughs> you could get your hands on it? Yeah. So now where are you traveling next for your winter exhibits? After this, do you now do you have like a break? Do you have like a slow period where you just relax and you just I had a break things? basically the whole last year when I needed I need to focus on my art production. I need to develop things on more producing yeah. more painting, kinda of have time without any major exhibits. So after that, after the exhibit in Springfield, I'm gonna to travel to Boston and the exhibit's gonna be there from uh, May 16th to May to uh, June 22nd, I feel. Mm -hmm. And after that, it goes to um, New York. Sas, do you think you could draw this? I mean, do you think you're that good that you could actually like draw this on thing? Like, what I would mean, you? What kind of art would you call this? This is like my Charlie Sheen shirt. I would call it Charlie Sheen art. Yes. Really? Yes. Like, how would it, would this be hard for you? Is this like something you could draw? I mean, at some point, when you get some technique level, you that? can draw everything. The question is why. That's the biggest question. The question is, could you draw that? And why would you? The you second could. question is a bit more important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really not that important. It took about ten minutes. I mean, if you could prove me that this is really important, as I told you. No, that's that not. I agree. It's really not that important. I mean, the, the, you don't even wear shorts, like you said. I yeah, shorts. It was it was a bad figurative. Yeah, this that was actually. I wouldn't figurative. say bad. No, there's no bad art. Seriously, like, you'll see. Awful. It's about awful. No, just not interesting. Uh. What would you call art that you would think that would like not you know be good? Boring. Like how, how for you? I wouldn't say you wouldn't resonate with uh, me because there's some other people who might fall in love with this painting that you did with this drawing. You know, yeah. nobody knows. But it's very subjective, as we call it. Yeah. I mean, do you do you really like when you're painting and stuff? Do you feel really passionate? Do you really do you really love your picture, or is it just like I like what I'm falling doing. Falling in love with the art. I like what I'm doing, I like uh, the final process, the final product, and I like the process, so it's a both wins. Now when you're done painting, this might sound um, like pretty common sense, but like uh -huh. when you're done, when you're drawing painting, you're just like, well, okay, I'm done, you just like walk up and go eat or something, and you just like let it dry, how does that, how does that process work? Yeah, it's work? exactly the same way as you described. Really? You just get up and eat and go play I mean, or you, whatever you want to do, but yes. Usually I work on um, straight like eight ten hours. What about bathroom breaks? I mean, yes. Do you just? <laughs> no, you go to the bathroom. Okay, place, I was gonna yeah. say I don't know how. You, if you guys get really into it, you just it's like a kitty litter or something. Like that. No, <laughs> it never happened so far. Yeah, that's so eight to ten hours. You're just painting. Yeah, it could be even more. I mean, if I have a painting, like this painting that I told you that was 8 by 6, I mean 6 by 4 feet, mm -hmm. I painted the whole painting in one day. And it is a very... Time consuming? It is a, it is a very time consuming, it's a very uh, developed painting. So, uh, of course I had to be concentrated. So, you, do you get in a room and you have like a do not disturb sign? On your kind of, I have a studio at, uh, in college where basically only for painting, mm -hmm. and that's where it works. So like when you were at home painting and stuff, were you ever like, Ma, I need a sandwich, I'm working on something big here, anything like that? Would she like come in and make you sandwiches or anything? I mean, if I really ask her, yes, but, yeah. but uh, usually I try to make the sandwiches by myself. You're also a good cook, you said, right? Yes, yeah, I love cooking. Well, what kind of cooking do you do? Like, cooking is also an art too, I which I also good. am bad at. Yes. I make cereal. My dad cooks me my eggs. I burn toast. It's oh, okay. it's awful. What what kind of food do you make? I mean, I like fishes. Fishes? Yeah, I like making frying them. Frying them. Yes. Do you catch your own fish? <laughs> uh, sometimes a bit rare, but mostly not. Yeah. Is it wild or is it farm raised? A uh, farm race, I guess. Really? You go to a farm and you, you catch the fish? <laughs> no. I mean, I don't know where they buy it from, the stores. You do, you, do you have like a specialty dish that you do? Like, do you have like a, because some people have like a special meal and then they just go into whatever they want to do. Do you have like a special meal and then you just start painting? It kind of gets you like focused. No, I like drinking tea actually a lot. Tea? Like, yeah. I read newspapers every morning. Mm -hmm. So, I feel in that sense a little British. 
Are you British? No. So what do you read the newspaper for? Just to read it? Or is it to... It's interesting for me. Um, because I feel I have to know what's going on in the world. Right, right, right. What's your newspaper of choice? I mean, I read both uh, Russian and American newspapers. So within America, it's the New York Times. So how many languages can you speak? You're, now, you are Russian, right? Well, sort of, from that area, I'd say. I mean, everything is mixed, I guess, but uh, I was born in the Baku, which is south of, uh, it was part of the USSR, Yeah. and now it's in the bank country. I was born in Michigan. Oh, and, and it's not in the bank country right now. So. Right, no, it's in the United <laughs> States, yeah, yes. but like, I'm a lot too, I'm a mix. Parents came from... Uh, you look Irish. Michigan. I am actually Irish. Okay. I'm Irish, Scottish, Italian, uh, no, actually not Italian, I'm Sicilian. I and mean, like German stuff. So I'm 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 mixed. Like, are you? What are you? I feel like Eastern European mix. Eastern European mix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this is Stas Spanning. You got it right. Spanning. Is there a G? Spanning. No G. Spanning. Yes. Okay. And he is actually the Guinness World Records youngest professional artist. And you're going to be having an exhibit at the JCC in on April third, Sunday, from uh, three to six p.m. So I think the, the JCC, the JCC in Long Meadow, right? It's actually uh, one thousand eleven sixty Dickinson Street in Springfield, Masters. Oh, it's not in Long Meadow. It's right on the border between Long Meadow. So because my friend works there, he's a lifeguard. Oh, okay. So maybe he's, so he's welcome. Okay, I'll tell him. All right. Yes. Thank you for uh, being on the show, Sasha. I appreciate Thank you. it. Thanks for enjoying. Uh, we're at Crepes Tea House. This is Big Talk with Little Joe. Um, enjoy Blue Channel. Take care.